Good morning. I want to welcome all of you, our stakeholders, leaders of our sister internet organizations who we refer to as the I Stars. They are stars, and a special privilege to welcome Commerce uh, Secretary Penny Pritzker, who we'll be hearing from very shortly. It's a pleasure to me to be back in Los Angeles, with many say is the birthplace of the internet, uh, which uh, success has a thousand fathers, and so the claim about where the internet was born uh, also has its competitors. But for me, uh, this is also my birthplace, and so it's very good to be home. I spent a lot of time in Los Angeles, uh, a good fraction of my life, maybe most of it, and uh, learned computing at UCLA and worked later at University of Southern California's Information Sciences Institute. While I was at the latter place, I recruited uh, two guys who would help define the internet as it is today, John Postel and Paul Macapetris. Uh, John, unfortunately, passed away 16 years ago this week, uh, just as he was uh, completing the arrangements for the birth of ICANN. Um, I was fortunate to work with both of them. Paul is in the audience here. Um, regardless of whether this is your first meeting or your 51st meeting or some number in between, uh, again, let me welcome you. Uh, we're in a period where ICANN is in the news a lot, and that often leads to uh, misunderstanding. Uh, too often people say, some people say that ICANN controls the internet, which is complete nonsense. Um, the internet is not under control at all. I'm sorry, that's supposed to be... So, so what's written here is no one controls the internet. I think that's slightly different. Those of us who worked in the development of the internet and many, many people who, uh, and I would say most of you, understand the, um, the real genius of the structure of the internet, which is that it's a quite distributed structure with a complex but not uh, breastfeeding type of ecosystem. Lots of parties cooperating uh, quietly and effectively behind the scenes. So that's uh, really the true story that uh, is not widely enough understood and to be, uh, to be frank, uh, does not serve the purposes of some people that want to they want to put it in some other frame. But that's the way it is, and it works really, really well. And not only does it work well, but if we tamper too much with it, it won't work as well. So we're in this period where um, the internet has become a uh, an intimate part of our lives uh, around the world, touching uh, nearly everybody on the planet. And uh, that means that it's become important to uh, a lot of people. We're now in this uh, very important period where uh, the Department of Commerce has announced that it will uh, uh, transition out of its role of stewardship of the IANA contract. And from that, a number of important consultations are underway. The IANA consultation group, uh, coordination group, is off to a very strong start. And a spinoff of that is uh, an IANIS, uh, of the IANIS stewardship is a discussion of ICANN accountability, which frankly we welcome. We welcome quite a bit. We spend a lot of time in the board and throughout the organization uh, uh, sincerely concerned about things uh, like that, about transparency, about accountability. And we work uh, assiduously trying to improve even while we actually try to get some work done. In recent times, last several months, uh, I want to note that we've uh, achieved a number of interesting milestones. Um, the auctions uh, in the GTLD process, which we very carefully have positioned as a last resort. Our first choice is uh, if there's co competition for strings that we like to sort out. But if necessary, uh, we will hold an auction. And we've now held a few auctions. Uh, I believe four strings in, to in total have been auctioned, and it has netted uh, $14 million in the bank. And that is now triggering um, discussions about how are we going to use that? We will hold 
uh, consultations with the community. Uh, we have segregated those funds. We have a report on our web page where you can see the details uh, of how much money has been taken in and the uh, expenses associated with that. And uh, our expectation is that by early next year, we will have greater clarity on the totality or the near totality, and we will have, be able to have a focused discussion on principles and uh, possible projects and possible mechanisms um, and, and get down to business on that. We're going to do that carefully. We're going to try to do that in a, in a sober way. Uh, the money is not burning a hole in our pocket. It's not, we're not going to start writing checks quickly, uh, but we want to understand precisely what to do. Um, another thing that is uh, a big success is ICANN Academy has just finished its second leadership training program um, this past week. Uh, the next, next generation, generation of leaders is benefiting from this very successful program. We've had uh, two of our incoming board members participate and, uh, and, and many others. And one of the things that uh, I am conscious of, uh, having been through some of the comparable kinds of things in my past life, is that this forms a cohort of people who then know each other uh, and form a community of their own. And that kind of thing is uh, enormously uh, helpful uh, as it is in every kind of setting. I also want to congratulate the Root Service System uh, Advisory Committee, uh, otherwise known as RSAC, on their creation of a uh, uh, significant uh, caucus that embraces not only the Root Server operators themselves, but others who are interested, and the development of documents that uh, encase their principles and standards with more to come. So I, I think that's uh, very important, and I'm uh, glad to see that. Looking to the future, uh, and particularly the ICANN future, um, uh, as I think is now well known, uh, we managed to uh, twist uh, Fadi Shahadi's arm and he's agreed to stay for a, an additional uh, three years. And, um, uh, and so we have him firmly in place, he can't escape. And uh, perhaps to, further to his dismay, my term has been extended on the board. So uh, you're stuck with us. Uh, we like to f phrase this in terms of stability, but you can uh, have it whichever way you like. In any case, uh, no turbulence, and we can focus more clearly on the future. Um, and when I prioritize the uh, things that I would like to see, uh, uh, one word stands out, uh, which is clarity. Clarity about our mission and the mode of operation, clarity within the staff, clarity across our supporting organizations and advisory committees. And I would also like to see clarity around the world with anyone who interacts with ICANN. I'm talking about governments, industry, academia, and other stakeholders. Until we achieve that clarity as the way we uh, do things and the way we are perceived, we will not achieve a clear vision of the future. So that's, that's the focus. Speaking of uh, other things in the future, I'd like to say that the next generation uh, directory services, um, uh, registration directory services work is moving forward. We've had a major report uh, last June from the uh, expert working group, and we are now forming a, a, a small uh, team between the generic names supporting organization and the board to map out the next steps. This is uh, kind of an intermediate before we uh, kick off the formal policy development processes that uh, we think are going to come from that. Uh, we've long acknowledged that the WHOIS system is flawed and grew out of its original purpose, uh, and now we have some solid proposals about how to deal with the delicate balance between privacy and transparency while at the same time improving accuracy. This is not a small and easy problem. There are a lot of competing forces and we're going to approach this uh, very deliberately and very purposefully, um, not shying away from any of the hard issues and not uh, uh, lurching forward to any quick solutions. I also want to revisit uh, a theme that I raised a year or so ago. ICANN and the community are, are growing. People who've never heard of us several years ago are now becoming more aware of what we do. I'm told that there are 2,300 people registered for this meeting, and at the last one in London, there were more than 3,000. I truly do not understand why people found London more interesting and, uh, than, than Los Angeles, but uh, uh, there it is. Uh, perhaps it's the weather, I don't know. Uh, I can staff now measures uh, more than 300. Uh, we have grown uh, quite a lot. Uh, and that growth period is now 
essentially at a halt. We are leveled off, uh, and uh, that is one of the more challenging transitions for an organization is the transition from a high growth period to a level growth period. It is, I can tell you from having been in it and having watched uh, what's going on, it feels like a depression. It feels like the same as the downturn. It isn't, of course, but it brings those challenges. And uh, I have been uh, singularly impressed with uh, the way Fadi has managed uh, this process, uh, the discipline that he's imposed throughout the organization, and um, uh, and the, the quite positive response throughout. Uh, in short order, uh, things will be at a very stable point, and everybody will be used to living in the new normal of uh, uh, not explosive growth, but uh, uh, staying uh, close to where we are and focused on business. Um, we all know the internet connects computers and smartphones, um, but well, the really important part is that it connects people. Um, we're all in this community uh, and industry very fond of slogans. Uh, the current ICANN slogan is One World, One Internet. Um, when we were putting the first nodes on the uh, ARPANET uh, some 40 odd years ago, uh, I remember making up a slogan that uh, networks bring people together, uh, which was a tongue-in-cheek uh, for the enormous amount of travel that we were doing while we were building a system that was supposed to make it unnecessary to travel. Uh, but it was very true that uh, personal relationships and professional relationships were one of the first positive uh, uh, consequences of the uh, seemingly straightforward act of just connecting computers together. Um, and not incidentally, uh, I've, uh, my wife and I have marked our 40th anniversary and we met through relationships that were developed uh, at the, during that period of time. Um, ICANN meetings have always done the same uh, of bringing people together. Uh, sometimes there's been contentious debate, sometimes inflamed rhetoric, but always, or at least almost always, with a sense of empathy uh, or mutual respect. My hope is that we don't outgrow those qualities uh, that have made this community what it is, and my hope that our human foundation will support our technical future. With that, I wish you a productive and fun week.